Nearly everyone loves chocolate. Yes, please. <laughs> right? We can all agree on that. Yes. But few people get a chance to create their own chocolate bar. This one loves it a little bit more than the rest <laughs> of us. So Utah State University partnered with a school in West Valley to let students there compete for that chance. New specialist Mike Anderson shows us why. A little chocolate indulgence can take you a long way. What do you smell? Griselda Arzalutz is here from Mexico City. The most important part is the fermentation on the farm. She's yeah. learning the process from bean to bar at Utah State University's Aggie Chocolate Factory. But what actually got her to Utah was a chance to learn English. We read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and then at some point in the book, I announced to them this, this project. Mark Sanderson is a teacher at American One English Schools in West Valley, and one year he decided, why not take that a step further? By having um, a competition, students take the reading more seriously. Arza Luz getting to make her winning chocolate bar idea today. These touches from my childhood. The idea is simple. Chocolate for, from my whole life. The process complex. Winnowing, grinding, roasting. Running it through a Mellinger and the pouring. A moment to make it real, to make it touchable and taste it. And yeah, that last part too. It's great. And it is a pretty big deal to see your creation become real, just like the stuff here at the store. That's why the folks at the factory want to expand this program eventually to a statewide competition. The experience is about more than taste. It is a flood of memories. The Gracie Bite, coming from a nickname Griselda Arzulus's husband gave her. But my, my dad shared with me pistachios, my childhood. An example of why the folks here say chocolate always seems to hold a special place in people's hearts. I wish my dad can taste it. In Logan, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.